So ladies and gentlemen, we're going to move on to the next part um, and the next presentation here. And uh, we're going to be talking with an expert from the MindSphere Enterprise. And we want to know what actually is the next step after your data is being stored, let's say, in the MindSphere. All right? That's just the beginning. But how do you actually connect uh, a, a data? It's kind of like having your phone with your contacts, but not being able to uh, call your contacts. What, what, what good is it, right? So um, having your data stored in MindSphere is, is just the beginning. But how to recognize the actual value of this data should not be left in the hands of data scientists, but actually in the hands of engineers who can recognize this data. So please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to talk more about this, the Senior Director of MindSphere from Dallas, Texas. Here is Samir Desai. Thank you, Chris. Samir. Thank you very much. Nice to have you. I hope that introduction was, uh, was kind of correct. Was that that's, the right way to perfect. describe it? Yeah, that's yeah? pretty good. OK. Yeah. Well, the stage is All yours. Right. Have fun. OK. All right. Thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, my name is Samir Desai. And we're going to talk about uh, MindSphere capabilities in terms of the integrated data lake and the enterprise data interconnect. However, before we get in there, what we need to understand is why. And the why part is digitalization of our customers. The journey that our customers have taken has been going on for lots and lots of years, over decades. And what this has been happening is in different environments, in different silos, in different disciplines. Every discipline started their digitalization journey over a long period of time. And they started using a lot of tools that started generating a lot of data. And in a lot of the cases, it was just not one tool that these disciplines were using. They were using multiple different tools, even within a single discipline. So what they started realizing is, now I have all this data. That's great. I've digitalized it. But how do I get value out of this? I can look at some information, but my real product information is distributed across my different systems. And I need to be able to understand how each one of them correlates with each other. What does it mean when I make one change in one place? How is my sourcing related to my design? How is my design related to my manufacturing? How do I get my handle around it? So we started doing a lot of uh, customers went down the process of doing integration projects. These integration projects now started looking at specific scenarios. They, they became big, they became large in terms of time, cost, and energy, because you had to understand and have the right subject matter experts that would be able to go in and figure out what is going on with your systems, with your data, how do they work with each other, and what's going on. And this keeps on growing. The cost keeps on growing. And it is not an easy task to perform, because now you are dependent on a lot more specialists to be able to get value out of it. Let's take a specific example. At the end of the day, everybody generates something. Let's call it a part. They manufacture them. They sell them. They service them. When they service them, after while they are servicing, we just heard we want to start collecting data. And we want to start collecting data. We want to understand the aspect to say, I have found a problem. And I want to understand from that problem, what is the source of my issue? If I have to go change my manufacturing, do I have to go change my design? Do I have to go change my vendor or the sourcing aspects? How do I get all this information together? From a customer viewpoint, what they're really looking for is a simple view that brings information from all these various pieces of environments and says, here, Mr. Customer, here's your problem part. Here is how you manufactured, where you manufactured it, who sourced this information for you if you were actually getting it built by somebody else. So that, with that in background, how does MindSphere come and approach this, this, this challenge? MindSphere provides the two key capabilities, what we call as the integrated data lake and the enterprise data interconnect. When you get down to enterprise, into the data lake capabilities, the information that you collect from your devices, it's not just the industrial IoT information, but you can also collect information from various systems, the enterprise systems that you have sitting around in for over decades and that you've been collecting information from. We do understand that you probably have your own data lakes that you want us to be able to work with. And how do you work with those things? So you have your own data lake stores that, you, that, that industrial data lake will, will allow you to work with. And once you have all this data, comes in the enterprise data interconnect aspect, which says, well, I have all this data. Let me help you understand how all these pieces of data are connected. Once you understand that, 
now your value is generating your business solutions. What are you attempting to believe, uh, to, to achieve out of your data, and what kind of solutions and end products do you want to get out of it? So you could start using some of the MindSphere analytical capabilities that sit on top of these and do your, your rich analytics, or you could be using your own tools that can consume this information and perform the analytics that you want to. At the end of the day, when we look at both these capabilities, what it takes is it takes away the burden of understanding how information is connected. It provides that to you and your design engineers and your business analysts that then build effective solutions and puts you onto your journey or accelerates your journey for achieving your digital twin closed loop capabilities that you are about for industry 4.0. Now, take the next deep dive level well, where you say, well, that's a great story. Can you tell us what you really do and what you can actually achieve doing this? So um, take a real use case scenario. A few years ago, there was an airbag manufacturing company that went out of business because they could not figure out that there were a lot of accidents happening and their airbags were not functioning properly. Um, what we've done is built this reference application that uses our capabilities both for the data lake as well as the, the enterprise data interconnect that understands, consumes information about these crashes, the vehicle information, the airbag information that's coming out of a source called the National Highway Transportation Security. This is publicly available information. Anybody can get to it. And on the other side, there is the actual design information which says this is how your data was designed in your PLM system, in our PLM system called Team Center. It's, there is a design information and there is a manufactured information about how that information is actually consumed, how it is built, how it is really serviced out in the, in the marketplace. And what we are going to be able to show here is that with these two technologies, you can bring in and understand not only where your vehicle crashes occurred, what kind of airbags were involved in there, but it also lets you go back and say, here is how you designed that part in your PLM system. Here is how you are servicing that part in your field. And when you service that, you can then start figuring out, wow, here's my issue, here's my problem, this is how I need to go fix it. So, Let's, let's go through that example of, of what you're going to see here is with that particular use case in, in the background, um, what, what you say is to MindSphere, you say, here are my two systems. I have Team Center, I have NHTSC. I'm going to bring data from them. Here is all the different kinds of data that I'm going to build them. Each one of these is different sources. They say, MindSphere, take this information. It goes in and says, well, I'm going to work through this information and generate what we know as the underlying schema without anybody inter intervening in there. I take that information and I churn that back in and create the correlation, the semantic correlation of data and says, here is what that information looks like when you connect them together. Not only that, it says, you had something in your design that was represented as a serial number and in NHTSA as a VIN number. By the way, these two are related. These are the same pieces of information that you can actually work through that. Once you have that, now you can start building smart applications which says, now let me understand what this distribution of the crashes look like. And I can see that that's all coming out of the National Highway data interface. I can start doing such smart drilling of information to say, let me see what happened in a particular region. In this case, say, what happened in the state of Michigan? We said, OK, I had four failures in my Lexus uh, brands of cars. What are those four failures? This, ladies and gentlemen, is saying, you had four failures, here are those four failures, here is your team center design, here is your team center manufacturing, and here is your failure with every car make and model that happened in there. Today, if somebody had to perform this capability, here is what they had to do without the MindSphere capabilities. You bring, some, you bring a subject matter expert that understands your PLM system, in this case, Team Center. They say, let me see and figure out what the data looks like. Do I know what, what that information is? Now let me go figure out what the information from National Highway Security is going to look like. Now I'm going to bring some these two guys together and say, why don't you go sit together and figure out how these different pieces are connected to each other? All that manual work is taken away. 
when you use the MindSphere capabilities for the integrated data lake and enterprise data interconnect, it generates all this information for you and helps you to get to the root cause of the problem, not create systems to figure out what the root cause of the problem was. That is the overall strength of what you get out of it. Now, we have a lot more detailed information about what the data lake does is with the storage of information, being a security, being able to connect and collect from variety of sources of data. Um, and so that gives you a good repository of information. And when you have that repository of information, then you can get down into the data interconnect aspects, which allows you to generate the semantic correlation of data and how can you get value out of it. So that gives you the, the complete benefits of the brand new MindSphere capabilities and offerings that we call as the integrated data lake and enterprise data interconnect. That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you also. Yes. Yeah. And uh, where can we find you if we want more information? Where are you guys at? Uh, we are up in the MindSphere right Lounge. Up in the MindSphere Lounge. You can walk over there, ask for my name or anybody in the MindSphere team, and we should be able to help you. Thank you very much. We'll do right. that. All right. Have a nice day. Thank you. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.